Welcome to the Chicho, my friends. My name is Alfred Montaner, and we're at the boat ramp. We're at the boat ramp during the week because why not? Here's why, guys. Here is why. Because yours truly is a dedicated, dedicated Black Point Marina news newsman. I want you guys to see the work that's going on over here at Black Point, guys. What is that? Hold on a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. It started. It started. Ah! My tip off worked. Descara. So una de cara a las tres. Wow, what a major bust. Hold on guys, wait a second, wait a second. I'll tell you what's going on here. But just in case this motor blows up. Oh my goodness, bro. They just saw you putting gas right now and they called me. Hey, they're running it right now, go. We don't even get one break. No, no. So, wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 what are you going to do? You're going to see trial it real quick? We're going to do a quick run on it and see how it's doing. Uh, well, listen, I'm going to go put, go, go, look, go, go over here. I'm going to run it. Go, you're going to run it right now? We're going to run it right now real quick. Uh, okay, look, do this. Go run it. Can, uh, can I put my stuff away and I run with you guys one time? Did you fix the issue or no? Did, did you fix the door or no? Uh, no. You guys have seen now in the video. Hey, I'm serious. I'm going to put my camera away. I just got here. Put it away. Let's go. Okay, go run it real quick. Tell me how it is. Did you change the prop? Yes, sir. Don't call me sir, bro. You just fudged up this whole... You, bro. The Sun Verano. Oh, my goodness. Part two, three, four. This is like a Superman sequel. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, guys. Wait for it. All right, so here's what's happening. Um, somebody called me. Hey, the boys from Carrera are going to run the Verado because they're putting gas. And they're right here by the gas station. They're not going to be putting gas, to, gas at the gas station that's not close by. Um, last we talked, he said he was going to put, um, change a prop from a, a four blade to a three blade. Damn, I just got here. This might get good. And uh, well, I guess that's FWC just checking, uh, see what's going on with people if they have the right amount of fish and all that good stuff. All right, so listen, wow, this, this thing is really blinding me, guys. Um, wow, so that's going to change. I got I to gotta, I gotta run. I got to run back to, I got to go back to my truck because, I don't know, um, I want to run that thing. So it looks like it's been a great day to be out on the water. FWC is there just making sure that the fish are, are legal size. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. What's up, Aiden? Yes. What happened? Where are the car keys? I don't, I don't know, Aiden. They must, they're in the kitchen somewhere. I have that. They, they call me for like the most random things and, and if you think it's bad for me i do that to my wife so they all do it to my wife and now they're doing it to me so i don't know all right let's see if these guys get get on the water All right, something definitely happened. So let me call, let me call Al. No, I was 
blessing. We're getting in right now. Are you guys okay? Hello? You guys are good? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. We're good. Eh? Are you guys good? Yeah, bro, yeah, they're good. Okay. We changed uh, three props that we needed to make sure to see what was the best prop possible. Mm hmm Remember when we came out the other day, we didn't have RPM, so we had no idea what the prop did. Mm -hmm. So we bought a 19 with a uh, four blade and a uh, 20, 23 with three. Mm -hmm. And we ended up putting actually back the one that we originally had was a 24 with four. I did uh 62. No, no hiccups. No bullshit. I think that we got it. Okay, we so, so got it. I think this motor is finally, finally is doing what it needs to do. Very happy about that now. All right, um, I'm here at the very first dock. Okay, now we're getting there now. We're turning around the corner now. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. Dale, bye, buddy. I'll see you. All right, bye. All right, guys. Well, good news. That is Al from Carrera Powerball. Says the owner of Carrera. And um, <laughs> you just heard it right then and there. He didn't know I was recording him. He will know in a minute. But here's the thing, guys. I don't think this sea trial is going to happen. Uh, and the reason why is because if you look over here, the sun is completely set. It's completely set, dude. So... I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't want to be out at night. You are, you won't be able to appreciate the run. You know. So. Besides, the Noceans are here too. But look, I'm glad. I'm glad I just called Al. Because look, these guys worked a hard, long day. They came after work to run the Sunk Verado, and this is what this story has been about. It's been about, hey, adversity, people want to help you, you push through it and eventually, you know, you get the thing. So, I'm happy, oh look, big shrimp boat's going out, damn, I, I want to do a shrimp boat video, I really do guys. So yeah, I mean, incredible, incredible news, so I'm really happy about that. I'm not happy that I'm not going to be able to run it right now, but like I said, there'll be another t a time that we, uh, we do that. The good news is they got they got it dialed in, so that's them over there. That has to be them coming in. He said it was in, in the turn, so well, we'll keep the camera on, show you guys what happens over here after hours. It's been a long time coming, guys. That's why I'm kind of like just chilling. I'm absorbing this moment because it's been a long time coming. We've, we've worked really hard on this damn engine. What the? Oh hell no. Time to move. There she is. The 21 foot Carrera flat cat coming in. Hey, come over here. Over here, over here. I should have just jumped in with you guys, bro. I feel like we got a stalker, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you stalking us? I'm the, I'm the fl little fat girl you dumped in fourth grade. <laughs> you do remind me of her. I don't lie. Come over here, bro. Let's let's talk. We ain't gonna run this thing today. That's it. It's too dark. But bring it in. Let's uh, let's talk about what happened. Hey, that Carrera looks badass in the water, bro. I think it even looks badass on the trailer, bro. Just a badass boat. All right, guys. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the actual ramp and talk to them real quick and see what's going on.
Let me tell you, this camera's pretty amazing. Go through. He took the pole. Yeah. <laughs> the pole the pole. There's no. <laughs> you can't tie it up, bro. I took them all. <laughs> oh shit. Bro, did it go boom, Israel? Sadly, no. Sadly, wow. Wow, really sadly. Bro, listen. There's too much good energy on this damn motor, bro. That's the thing. Oh yeah, from us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Hoy le fuimos a la a la caría. Oh, you guys went to la caría. Traemos una velita. No, diez velas. Diez velas. Tres galones de agua bendita. No, no uno. Cuando cura los miró, we had three gallons of agua bendita. No, y las velas se prendieron solas. Oh yeah, they all one after the other. All right, guys. Oh, wow, so what amazing. they just said in Spanish that they went to a Catholic church over here, very well known. It's called. La Ermita de la Caridad, and uh, it's known in the Catholic community to go ahead and put lights over there when you want good things to happen. And you, uh, wow. they said they light, they lit up. We on. needed, we needed that power. We needed that extra entity bro, uh, power. Bro, this thing looks beast mode, bro. Um, Feels good. So, so, bro, listen, you know we. I wanted to jump on there. I mean, there was just this is coincidence that we, that I was filming. I, well, I, look, somebody told me where you were. You guys, you guys, guys went to the 7-Eleven. You were gassing up, and I was like, okay, I'm close by, so I, I can catch you guys. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop, bro. No. I will. Wait, Listen. Look, look. Uh, wait. A lot better. Uh, this and, and this and this thing. I would like to smile a little bit more. I, it, I've heard some complaints. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I hear some complaints about the seriousness, you're, you're, the serious face, you know. Um, you know, and stuff. I, I do take our job very serious, but let me <laughs> no, no, stop, smile stop. and laugh. Stop, uh, stop, stop. Now, guys, in the comment section last time, and the video prior to this one, I'll link it at the end of this video. Al, Al just had his poker face on. He was practicing for, 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 for his tournament. Okay, wait, wait, come on, come. Let's talk about this motor, bro. Okay, so Anthony, tell me what happened exactly. Like, you went out there, what, you, you changed a couple of props? Yeah, I went out there prop testing. Uh, we're looking at RPM, making sure we're getting the RPMs that we need on the motor. Um, so far, it ran good. There's three people on board, full of gas, our tools, our props, and we ran 63 miles an hour today. No hiccups? No hiccups. Guardian mode, nothing? No guardian mode, nothing. Sh no vibration, she looked good. She looked good, she felt good. Um, we are going to tweak a little something tomorrow to get more and, uh, no, just to get the ride height. Cause remember this, this engine is not really for this boat. Mm -hmm. This engine is actually a little longer than what this boat is supposed to take It's five inches longer. Okay. So the motor, I still feel like it's dragging a bit in the, in the water. It's not coming up as much as I would like it to. Okay. So we're going to come up. We have one more hole to come up on the motor. So we're going to bring that hole up tomorrow. And we're gonna do a little video for you guys in the daytime because we're already yeah yeah dark we, we can't do that now so it, it wouldn't be safe yeah it wouldn't night. be safe not too safe so uh, we're gonna do the run again tomorrow but I am gonna bring it up one hole I have one more hole that we can come up with it and I I feel like that's gonna help the ride but I'm happy with the mile an hour for what it is so okay so it feels so good so 63 the way that it was right here yes it probably would have gone 54 with me on there today. Pretty sure you got a couple, couple pounds. I thought I bro. Hey, the camera's on you right now. All right, all right. So, 
the, with the 225 when you ran this Carrera, how fast did it go with the 225? Well, the 225, we were able to get it to 65 miles an hour was our top speed with the 225. Okay, so, so because it's a lot lighter. It's lighter and the distance of the motor is different as well as this one. Okay, so definitely we got to... Now, were you able to see your RPMs and see exactly what RPMs we, we got right to? Right now, we're running 6,000 RPM. So we, we ran 63 miles an hour. Okay, so we got a little bit more. Yes. We got some more RPMs there. Well, this one runs 6250. Mm -hmm. So we still have some more RPM, which that I'm going to make up for it with the one hole that we're going to come up. Okay. That'll help us with the RPMs, give us a little more RPM. But you want to stick around that 6000 to 6100 range because when you're out there and you get a couple waves, you don't want to get the first wave and already rev limit your motor and be on, you know, on the limiter. Yeah. So you, you want it to run 6000 6100 about there. And um that way you keep it safe. Yeah, no, absolutely. And how did, how did it run at that speed, the Carrera, the actual boat? Well, the boat was running awesome, man. Yeah. It felt great. The other day when I came out with Al, me and Al did a, a run on it. And uh, as soon as we got over 60 miles an hour, one of our front cushions came loose. Yeah, so, so the front cushion wasn't rated for 60 miles an hour. Yeah, so, so we're, we're going to tweak that. We got it, and now we have to have uh, our interior speed base rated. on our speed. <laughs> <laughs> Israel, you want to say anything about uh, the run? Because you, you're the first person that said it was going to kaboom. I want more speed. You want more? But you think we're going to get it? Yeah, no, of course. Tomorrow? We're going to show you guys a short video oh, yeah. of uh, Israel changing the props out on the water. That way you guys see what we go through. Because people awesome. don't really get to see that. No, they don't. So they don't. Al took a, a video there, and we're going to pass it over to you. That way you can uh, show the guys, guys and girls. Yeah. How, uh, how we change the props out there in the water. So we're very lucky to have Israel on our side to help us out because. <laughs> Israel's got wet feet. Thank you, bro. No, man, no wet feet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we become a professional changing props. Yeah, right. we don't so, get wet so, to change. So, so what, what to prop it. are we using right now that's on the boat? Right now we're running with a 24 four blade. Um, and it's giving us the RPM fine so far. I did try a 19.3 blade that we brought with us, mm -hmm. and we also brought a 24 blade. But with the 24 blade, I was already uh, on the limiter too quick, mm -hmm. and we did, I believe, was 60 miles an hour with that one, but I was sitting on the limiter. So that one didn't work out. This one felt the best in the water, though? This one felt the best. 24 four blade. Felt good out there. It was nice and smooth out here today, too, so it wasn't really that we had much waves. The water's nice and calm. But, um, but the boat performed good. We turned it at 50 miles an hour. We did a sharp turn. Mm -hmm. Boat hooked it really nice. So far, so good. All right, well, listen up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, let me see if I say, um, I'm out of here. Like, guys, I was gonna film. <laughs> I did I look at, bro, don't, hey. Stalker. Hey. He's I'm stalking that, us. I'm that little fat girl in fourth grade that you dumped, <laughs> that you never paid attention to. Woo. <laughs> Hey, Alfred Montana, I'm making a scene. I tell Aloka, bro, she you knows she's gonna she's gonna call you now for real. And that was me. Pandemic weight doesn't stick. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Yes, it does, bro. <laughs> <laughs>